So this video discusses using PWM with the 328 chip. Uh, this will be the fourth video in the series. So if you take a look at the 328 chip, several of the pins are marked as supporting PWM. I'm going to focus on the pins over here, in particular pin 9. So this is uh, Arduino pin 9 or pin 15 on the device. And this pin is marked as supporting PWM. And the way this appears to work in uh, the Arduino library is we use analog write. So what I've done here is I've just added a single line of code to the, uh, to the sample that I've been working on. And in this case, when I read the analog value from one of the other pins, so the A0 pin, which is where I have that 10K pot set up in the voltage divider configuration, I can read that 10-bit value. So of course that value comes back between 0 and 1023 because it's 10 bits. And then I can do a little bit of math to scale that out to the 8-bit value, which is what the PWM expects. And even though we're doing an analog write, really what's happening here is it's setting the duty for the waveform for you based on a value between 0 and 255. So it's basically an 8 to, uh, 10 to 8-bit conversion here that I'm doing. And uh, this works great because it permits the, uh, my pot now to control the PWM waveform. So if we take a look at that on the analog discovery 2, if I adjust this pot now, if I can get the screwdriver in there, there we go. If I adjust this pot now, I can set the duty on that by that value. So this is nice, cheap PWM, and you don't really need to, to set the duty and value. The only thing I don't like about this is it's decided what frequency this is running at, and uh, it looks like it runs uh, with a period of just over 2 milliseconds. And I'm sure there's probably some way to configure that, but right out of the gate, it just works, and we have to kind of live with this, right? This would actually be suitable if we wanted to do something like control the brightness of the backlight of an LCD uh, or some such. Like the frequency there isn't super critical, so this would actually work out for us. So, um, yeah, there you go. There's, uh, there's an example of that happening. And like I say, I can... If I were to put this in focus, but anyway, uh, you get the idea. We can adjust that pot that we were doing before, and we get to see that that waveform change. So this is pretty nice. And if we do set the duty to full, then of course it goes to just a DC voltage. And the same thing if we set it all the way to the bottom, it'll just go to basically off, off or on anywhere in between. Yeah, so hopefully that uh, helps explain how the PWM is working and it's it's quite trivial to get going.